I'm here in front of St. Basil's Cathedral in Red Square in Moscow. It's great to be back here uh, once again, uh, where I started my work in the late 1990s battling an epidemic of multidrug resistant tuberculosis in the prison system, but in also in areas in Siberia like Tomsk Oblast. You know, the Russians have been doing very well in terms of economic growth recently, mostly based on oil and gas, but now they're asking themselves a critical question. How can we ensure that all of the Russian people will participate and benefit from the economic growth that we're seeing? One of the things that every country has to deal with is how to deal with aging, and Russia is no exception. President Putin has focused specifically on the business environment. He has made a bold target for improving in the doing business rankings, and you can feel it with all the government ministries. Everyone is committed to improving the business environment so that investments will come in, that uh, businesses will grow, and jobs will be created for the Russian people. Uh, Prime Minister Medvedev has focused on making sure that the economy can be diversified. Uh, he has argued that Russia has to move from a commodity export based economy to one based on innovation. You know, both of these efforts are critical and in addition, uh, the Russian government is trying to find ways of providing health and education for its population so they can lay the foundations for future growth. What we see here in the Russian Federation is this fundamental struggle to move toward a vision of shared prosperity uh, for their country. They need to keep growing, uh, they need to improve the business environment, but what they also know is that if the prosperity is not shared with young people, with women, with people in the outer provinces, over 9,000 kilometers and nine time zones, this is a huge and enormous and diverse country, they know that if they don't build in the uh, foundations for a shared prosperity, you, they'll be building instability into their society. So uh, great to be back here in Russia. There's a lot of work to do, but we're encouraged uh, to, to see the progress that we've seen in the last couple of days.